Hi, this is Sue Polinski again, and we're going to talk about something at a slightly more complicated level, and that is styles. Now, we're looking at a different tech triad test site. It has a menu over here with a drop down, and it's really just a site that is has no content. It's just a site that you begin to work with and put information in. Many times when you first open Contribute, you learn that you're not connected to your website. This little magic button up here will say one of three things. It'll either say connect, it'll say edit, or it will say publish. Right now I'm not even connected to the site. So I'm going to click the connect button to connect to the site. Again, uh, Everything is based on the speed of your internet connection. Uh, this page has room to put in a picture. It has room to put another picture in here. This is a demo site. Place to put in five different pictures here. And discussions. Now the colors on the site are there so you can see them because there's something about the colors I want to show you. I'm going to go to the full width page. And I want to show you that there are heading styles, one, two, three, four, five, six. These heading styles are very important to Google. They like heading styles. You put your important information in these heading tags. And when you want to keep a site looking professional, you generally do not do what you're looking at here, which is make all these different color sets. Generally, you keep your color sets uh, similar, but I made them very different so you could see them. I want you to learn how to apply a style to some text. If you know about styles from Microsoft Word, then you know that a style will apply to an entire paragraph. This is a paragraph. Headline 2 color size is a paragraph. These words that I'm highlighting are a paragraph. So if I change the style, it will impact the entire paragraph. And this demo shows you what they look like. So I'm going to edit the page. And again, it creates a draft, redraws the page, and shows you what's editable. It has to be inside blue boxes to be editable. And if I wish to edit, then what I do is I check my different heading styles and let's say I want this entire paragraph to look like heading 6. So I click inside the paragraph, I drop my list down of styles and I pick heading 6 and it changes the entire paragraph. A heading style cannot change only a few words. It has to change an entire paragraph. If I click any place inside this paragraph and I drop my style list down, and you're going to see all kinds of styles, but the important ones for today are the heading styles. And I'm going to make this paragraph green. I'm going to make it heading 4 by simply clicking on heading 4, and it changed the entire paragraph. Heading styles impact paragraphs. If I want this to go back to normal text, I drop my list down and the first one is always normal and it changes the paragraph to normal text. So when we build a site, what we do is we set up all these heading styles beforehand to match or complement your color choices and then you can apply them when you make new pages or you want to change titles. This entire page is editable and I can take this one which is headline 4 times New Roman green and this particular size and I can switch it to heading 5 if I want. You do not have to select the entire paragraph when using a heading style. Click in the paragraph, change it to normal, and you're back to where you started. That's pretty much it. We'll be back later.